Hello, it's you and Faye, and we're back with another video. What are we doing today? So the leader of the Cape Independence Movement uh -huh. was recently on a podcast, okay. and he had a few things to say about why the majority of people voting for the ANC. Okay. So let's check out the clip first, mm -hmm. and then you tell me what you think about it. Okay, cool. Black races, you know, so what, what, what is our issue? And I caused a bit of offense recently, and I, but I won't mind, and I'll say it again. You know, one of the biggest issues in South Africa is that the majority of black voters are too racist to vote for the best party uh, because they won't vote for, you know, I, 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 clearly I've got my issues with the DA, but if you were voting on merit, you'd vote for the DA because all statistical facts says the DA are a million times better than the ANC. And why are people voting for the ANC and the EFF? Because they're too freaking racist to vote for the DA. So actually, and we know it from our polling. So that's the, that's the kind of the underlying issue here. And at some point we'll get past that, but we don't have the courage to say it. So I'm going to say it. I don't mind it. I, you know, I'm totally non-racial. I hate racism. I don't like racism. Uh, but, I, but I'm not going to be a hypocrite. I don't like white racism. I don't like coloured racism. And I don't like black racism. And my experience is, is that by far the most racist people I come across in South Africa today are black racists because it's socially acceptable to be racist and black. In fact, we many people even deny that it's possible where actually it's totally socially unacceptable to be white and racist. So it's quite right. It should be socially unacceptable to be white and racist, but it should also be socially unacceptable to be black and racist. And, black, and South African voters just are racist. So what are your thoughts on what he's saying? To be honest, there's some truth there. Uh -huh. Like there's some truth there. And if we can also be honest with ourselves, like a lot of our behavior as black South Africans is is quite racist, right? But it goes kind of unchecked because it's still behind the whole like almost like we're fighting we're still fighting we're still fighting for ourselves no the reason why i'm saying this i'm not saying that we are outright racist people we're not but it's like sometimes like in our quest to be like pro-african pro-black pro you know black empowerment and all of that we kind of we kind of in turn sort of are racist towards white people in a way I'm probably not expl explaining this right, but like, I feel like though the only problem is that, and one of the reasons that he does raise is that we, um, he sees that through like how we would rather, you know, vote for a failing ANC, um, than, you know, vote for another party who perhaps has a lot of white people, right? I, I say we kind of do that more out of fear because we like we feel like white a, a white racism is like way way worse than something that we cannot live with why are you struggling no like not at all we are not racist at all so for context mm. this is a this is the very same guy mm. who wants cape independence he's the leader of it he's running his own party yeah. and he's the leader pushing for cape independence mm -hmm. if we were a proper country mm -hmm. this guy would be dealt with in any way shape or form yeah of course if he was doing this either in russia china or even in the states mm -hmm. they would have dealt with him already okay what but he's proposing is treasonous uh, yes it's, it's right? bad i'm, I'm it's it's, what i'm saying is not in defense of can we argue what he's saying is completely I'm, I'm still getting wrong there. without I'm, I'm still arguing getting, him yes, okay i'm still getting there I'm just setting this up for context because mm. this is the, this is the guy that in a in in a democratic party that mm. where the majority gets to vote for who rules. Yeah. All of a sudden, when 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 the majority are voting for something that he's not happy with, yeah. he wants to create his own country. Of course. This is the very same guy doing that, mm. and the country is gonna benefit benefit white people. Yeah. This is the very same guy doing Without that. Without a doubt. Right? Yeah. Cool. So his argument is that black people are racist because they should be voting for the DA based on merit, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Nobody votes based on merit, not even white people. White yeah. people don't vote based on merit. Mm -hmm. Everybody I votes. I mean, there's holes that we can also poke on DA's so-called so merit. Yes. Everybody votes based on interests. Yeah. Which party will so, align to my interest uh, and serves my interest yeah. the best? That's what people vote for. Yeah. It's not based on merit. 
So what he's saying is factually incorrect. And he doesn't vote for a DA based on merit. He doesn't. Mm. He votes based well, on Well, perhaps he so, could say he could say that he is so voting on merit because uh, like, as usual they'd be like going back to the Western Cape, they feel like Western cool, Cape is I'm a getting well there. governed. I'm getting there. Mm. So he's based he's he's voting based on merit, right? Yeah. The merit that the DA shows is that is that the, the white neighborhoods and the tourist neighborhoods are well run. Mm. The colored neighborhoods and the black neighborhoods mm. are those neighborhoods well run? So for the black not. people, the DA on merit mm. is worse than the ANC. Yeah. For the black people. That's a if he if he basing on merit, right? Yes. For black, that's he, a good he, point. So yes, so I'm so that's that's my main argument here is that he's mm. not looking he's not looking at the lens of a black person. He's looking yes. at the lens of a white person. Of a white person and how you guys how black people are standing in the way of us, you know. So what he's saying is factually incorrect, and on on top of that. Okay. Black people do not, based on based on what I was saying, black people will not vote for the DA based yeah. on how based on what they've seen how they treat uh, black neighborhoods. Mm. They've seen that they they know Luti. Okay. If, if we vote for the DA, we're gonna get the same treatment that the black people in the Western yes, Cape get. Yes, Western Cape get. It's as simple Absolutely. as that. There's okay. nothing racist about that. Uh, and question. on top of that, people vote for the ANC because the ANC is the is the power. I mean, is the political party that. A lot that serves their interest the best out of any other party yeah. in the country currently. Opposition parties are very poor, and the ANC is still the best chance that we have at um, economic but liberation. You, but but what do you feel about the the fact that it pure it mainly focuses on black interest rather than like the interest of no the, no the ANC's policy is is is, is equality. That's the that's the whole thing. It's not like the EFF. But AFF, like in the AFF. quest of equality, I'm I'm thinking what they're arguing is that in the quest of equality, they sort of like kind of um, cater to black people more, like because they because there's no. a, like come like the ANC with example like the triple B E E situation. Like that's correcting kind, that's correcting about that's what it. i'm saying that's what i'm saying like in the quest of of us like you know how so that's racism that, i'm not saying but he um they that's something that they put no. out that he's he's a, ra- he's, it's he's, racist. he's a Instead british of, he's a british guy who came to settle here in, in south africa mm-hmm. so he doesn't even know what the fuck is going on up in here he's just talking based on based on his white interests he yeah. he, he wants he, he wants what Every white pe- every white person out here wants, of course, which is what they already have, yeah, economic power. They already have that, but they hate the fact that white people cannot run the country because yeah. the black majority are not voting for them. Not, but because those white people do not want to serve the interests of the black majority, the, so so I, uh, uh, I so, what I also believe is that I also believe in it's it's a very it's, so so like how, it just cannot happen because we definitely know that they will not serve our interests. But I'm just saying, like on the point of like the things that you not, were raising, there's, there's, raising like the social accepts, like how it's, not, it's socially accepted. it's not it's not socially acceptable to be racist, and black people are not racist. It's not socially acceptable. One, I mean, how how the ANC the ANC is doing to the best of their ability to to raise to raise equality in the country without mm. without being racist to white people yes. if, if they if they do if they do what the in what the eff are planning to do yeah. if eff are planning to be like we do not care about yeah. you, you guys we want to correct the social injustices that yes. you guys have done here and so we'll do it in this way if you guys it. have a problem with it you guys mm. can just leave all that stuff. so ANC this is, is the best still, they kind of have yes it. anc is still trying to be inclusion including everybody yes. including every demographic that's why they'll never single out a single race they'll never single out a single group of people yeah. they always try to speak of uh, south africa as people of south africa mm. they believe in the constitution so much that mm. people like him can come up here and want yeah. to break up south africa and that's have no true. consequences because the constitution the, the constitution also states that south africa the south africa is for all, is for all people who live in it, it. Mm. so what, what what he's saying is just factually incorrect that so why why people are going with the um, the EFF specifically because the EFF are more are more that the approach that he's using mm. where he wants to break away from the rest of South Africa and create his own country or whatever mm. that's that's an extreme side of 
of that side yeah and then the EFF is going more on the extreme side of, of the, the other, other side way. but he has a problem with, with the EFF because it goes against his interest yes so you see it's like this guy is just being very hypocritical and the ANC right now is That's the best true. bet for everybody yeah like for everybody I, the fact I that they even they haven't even addressed this cape independence thing not even yes. once not even once mm. a person a, a person blatantly uh speaking out treasonous things yeah. and promoting a treasonous a, a like treasonous openly. thing openly and the fact that they haven't addressed them even once openly shows how how inclusionary the yes. agency is trying to be mm. it just shows that like 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 how so, how, uh, what, how what he's saying is just it's just bogus. It's just bogus, and he's lucky the AFF mm. is not is is not the ruling party, yeah. because he would have been dealt with a long time ago. He it's either it's it's either it's, it's either he gets arrested for for treason, mm. or they they strip him of his citizenship and deport him. That's what a proper country should have done when yeah. somebody's because even in America, the most free country, the most free nation in the world, mm. somebody tries to do this in America, the CIA would deal with this person. Mm. They will just disappear. You'll just disappear. Trying to take away a state and make it its own country. Yeah. You disappear and you're not no questions I asked. I mean, of no course, nothing. like that. No. Because Americans are patriotic. You wouldn't they even love, think about they love the, America. Yeah. So why are you trying to make your own country? Then? And if and if you really care about South Africa, you would never in a million years think that. He doesn't okay care about. So this not. It's, he's not even. He's not even South African born. He just yeah. came here. Like that's the that's the even crazier part. I'd understand yeah. if it was somebody who was born in South Africa, who grew up in South Africa, mm. and then he's like, you know, what? I'm tired of the ANC, whatever. Yeah. But even those people, those people, no like, matter how tired no they are, no way you could have our interest at heart. Mm. I mean, for you to just say that you're non-racial and you don't, oh, uh, it's but not all enough. Think, all you do is all you do is like all you the speak opposite. Is racist politics. All, or, all you do, like, you'd understand how racist your whole movement is. If you were a South African that grew up, that was mm. born and raised, and you understand, you have you have family, you know, then mm. like you'd understand that that that's crazy. So that's I, I I I don't like this guy one bit, and the fact that he's he, he's out here saying that black people are racist because they're voting for a party that he does not I like. I think what if if voting was if voting was a merit based system, then voting wouldn't be required. Yeah, it, it's just just the best party will automatically be. We don't need to vote for that. And but it's not a they, it's basis. promises anyway. All these people just promise, 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 because half of them have not given been given a chance to lead in any. It's just that they like the DA because the because well, under the DA they are good, mm -hmm. but they don't they don't take so into account. So you're calling that. it it's hypocrisy. It's yes, not they like don't, they really confuse. They don't take into account this. that under the DA black people are not as good as them. They don't take that into account. Mm -hmm. They just don't. So they just think going to like because we are good under the DA. Because that's the only I other system that will that will serve their interests. I don't, that's true. I don't, un I don't understand how these guys are not voting for the DA. Like we are good under the DA. Yeah. So I don't understand why they're not voting for the DA. You won't I understand mean, because you're not cause you're not the ones we know. The end of the stick. Yes. You, you're not the ones being mm -hmm. uh, badly badly run. Yeah. You know, all you guys are good. All you mm -hmm. guys are good. But look at the other side of K-Town that they don't want to show. Mm -hmm. So there's a, there's a mirror, there's a a lot of reasons why uh, black people are still voting for the ANC. Even even there's some black people that are yeah. like still dumbfounded, like how could you still vote for these people? Whatever, yes. whatever. But mm -hmm. like like I said in the other videos, like some people some people's lives have changed out of the ANC and they'll forever yeah, be indebted to that. Yeah, that. You know? So it's like yeah, you'll never understand that you'll never understand that yes. POV unless you're in it. Mm -hmm. Like you'll never understand why somebody's voting for the ANC mm -hmm. unless you are, unless your lives have you been changed are in by, that, by the yes. ANC. So it's not racist and it's not merit. Voting is not a merit based thing. Mm. It's more of a popularity contest more than anything else. Mm. And it's more. It's, and it's and more how based can on, you sway us the voters to believe in you mm. at the end of the day? So people people would rather vote for the most charismatic, for the for mm. the for the most confident, for yeah. the person who can make you feel the best. It's mm -hmm. it's it's all that's politics. It's that's yeah. what that's what it's all about. How you make people feel and mm -hmm. how you get people to trust you and all that. Yes. Kind of stuff. it's not merit based. That's just false, mm -hmm. and and I like the fact that democracy is exposing you guys because yeah. you guys brought this system here. Absolutely, y'all brought this system here. To and say like more we and all more, vote. we should all vote Let's for vote. A, a a ruling party. Mm -hmm. When when Africans were not working like that before, mm -hmm. Africans were working like how you guys are working in England. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Royal family. Like it nobody is what it is. Quote, unquote, you... Royal family, right? Yes, nobody votes. Nah, because it's not working for you guys. You have a mm-hmm. problem with it. Like as a South African, this guy is like one of the worst people ever. As yeah. a South, like if you are a South African and love South Africa, this guy. Is, this is the worst example. Is is the re- I'm just, I, just thinking about him just makes me uh, makes me feel mm. away. So yeah, I just want to cut this video short because <laughs> that about this nigga. But anyway, you guys let us know what you think about this whole situation. Yeah, let us know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And keep watching. Goodbye. We'll check you guys in the next one. It's constitutionally offensive and historically offensive in South Africa to say that the only solution for the people of the Western Cape is to secede from the Republic of South Africa. We live under a constitutional democracy. That constitution talks about nine provinces. It talks about a sovereign South Africa. And actually, we are here to unite South Africans. The idea that the only thing that can be done to help the Western Cape is to divide South Africans is offensive to us.